channel is uh, Nazvin. Kindly, if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Guys, subscribe. We are talking about uh, prevention of uh, schizophrenia. And uh, we are on number two. Uh, we are talking about prenatal care. Where ensuring access to quality prenatal care can help promote maternal and fetal health and reduce the risk of complications uh, during uh, pregnancy, guys. And also during childbirth, that may increase the risk of schizophrenia. This includes addressing the maternal infections, uh, nutritional deficiencies, because we don't want malnutrition uh, during, uh, for the mother and also for the newborn. Substance uh, use, we want to discourage the substance use during pregnancy as much as possible and also other prenatal factors that may impact the future uh, development at that particular point. Also very important on the prevention part of it is uh, learning on how to reduce stress and also tra uh, trauma. Mini minimizing exposure to, uh, to stress, minimizing exposure to stress and the trauma during childhood and adolescence. And this is only where parents really protect their young ones so that they can't be get abused in that uh, formative years of their age. So that uh, may they reduce the risk of developing, uh, de developing the schizophrenia. This includes uh, adverse childhood experiences such as abuse, neglect, family conflicts, and promoting su supportive and nurturing uh, environment, environment for uh, children and also adolescents. Also, uh, very important, uh, number four is avo about avoiding uh, substance abuse. I talked about cannabis and also uh, which uh, is really affecting, can really uh, exacerbate or uh, bring about problems. So cannabis, we talk about cannabis, we talk about alcohol, we talk about stimulants. I've been associated with an increased risk of schizophrenia from my introduction part of it from the other video. I've talked about how they affect. So educating individuals about the risk of substance abuse and promoting the health uh, lifestyle choices, including uh, avoiding illicit uh, drugs and also excessive alcohol consumption may reduce the risk of uh, psychosis, especially alcohol. We want to discourage it 100% when the mothers are pregnant because of other associated conditions. Uh, with the, the alcohol. Number five is about genetic counseling and this is a, a component especially in Africa we really ignore uh, especially when the, by genetic counseling we mean if uh, a man is getting married to a lady they need to know those conditions which are in their family. If one has a schizophrenia history especially in the family because now we are talking about uh, schizophrenia so individuals with family history of schizophrenia or other psychiatric conditions may, be, may, may benefit from genetic counseling and testing to better understand their risk factors and make informed decisions about family planning and also preventive uh, interventions. Number six is about promoting res resilience, promoting resilience. Building resilience and coping skills may help individuals better manage stress, adversity and also challenges. So reducing their vulnerability to mental health disorders uh, such as uh, schizophrenia. This uh, uh, resilience promoting uh, uh, mechanisms include promoting social support networks, teaching adaptive and coping strategies, fostering a sense of purpose and also uh, self-efficacy. Number seven is access to mental health services. Very important. Ensuring that uh, Individuals access uh, these uh, 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 comprehensive mental health services is a very important component and surely here in Africa it's a big challenge because patients may, ready, may be ready to get uh, the help but the services may not, may not be available or they may be very far. So ensuring access to comprehensive mental health services including early intervention programs, psychiatric care, psychotherapy and support services is essential for individuals at risk of, uh, uh, the, uh, of, uh, of this uh, condition of schizophrenia. So timely uh, appro and appropriate treatment can help manage the symptoms and also prevent relapse and promote uh, recovery at the end of the day because that's, all, that's our big target for this kind of uh, condition. 
guys, it is important to recognize that schizophrenia is influenced by uh, by a complex interplay of genetic, biological, uh, and environmental uh, psychological factors, and no single prevention strategy is likely to be effective on its own. So, a comprehensive and multi-phased uh, approach that addresses multiple risk factors and promoting mental health and well-being is key to reducing the burden of schizophrenia on individuals. Uh, individuals, families, and also communities. Unfortunately, this is what I don't like talking in my video, but I must talk about it. And that is about uh, complications. Unfortunately, these conditions can have complications, and schizophrenia is one of them. So, and schizophrenia can lead to a lot of uh, complications that are, can have, affect the aspects of an individual's life. And these complications can arise from the symptoms of uh, the dis uh, of disorder itself, as well as factors such as medication side defects, social challenges, and the comorbidity conditions. And yes, I'm going to mention some of the con uh, complications associated with the schizophrenia. Number one is about uh, social and occupational dysfunction. Many individuals with schizophrenia experience difficulties in social relationships and occupational functioning because uh, and also because uh, it affects them on social withdrawal, impaired communication and reduced motivation, making it a very big challenge to maintain friendships, engage in social activities and hold down a job or attend school. This can lead to social isolation, unemployment, financial instability and dependence on others uh, to support. So that's a big complication on the social and occupational dysfunction. Number two is about substance abuse. Because uh, substance abuse is common among individuals with schizophrenia. is a big burden for schizophrenic uh, patients. As some may use drugs or, or alcohol as a way to cope with symptoms or to alleviate the distress, substance abuse can worsen the symptoms of schizophrenia and because, so they increase the risk of relapse. In bear, in bear treatment of effectiveness and lead to legal, financial, and also health uh, problems. Number three is a uh, complication on the physical health problems. Individuals uh, with uh, schizophrenia are at a high risk of developing various physical health problems, including obesity, uh, diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, respiratory diseases, and infectious diseases. Factors such as poor diet, lack of exercise, smoking, medica medication side effects, and also inadequate access to health care uh, contribute to the health uh, disability, dis disparities. So physical health problems come up, as I've mentioned. Number four is about medication side effects. And so, uh, when we take these and psychotic medications, that I, doctor, I talked about atypical and atypical, and here we prefer most of the time atypical drugs. So psychotic medication used to, to treat schizophrenia can cause a range of side effects and they include weight gain. They really, those patients on these drugs, they gain a lot of weight. Metabolic abnormalities, uh, sedation, movement disorders, uh, such as Parkinsonism and also tardive dyskinesia. So where we also have hormonal imbalances, we have cardiovascular complications, and these side effects can impact the quality of life and adherence to treatments and long-term outcomes can be very detrimental for this kind of uh, patients. Number five complication is about comorbidity mental uh, health disorders. Individual with uh, schizophrenia most of the time have comorbidity mental health, uh, health disorders such as depression, uh, anxiety disorders, substance use uh, disorders and obsessive compulsive disorder or what you call OCD. These co-occurring co conditions are, can complicate the diagnosis, worsen the symptoms and also interfere uh, with the effectiveness of the treatment and also recovery. Number six complication is about cognitive impairment where cognitive deficits are common in individuals with uh, schizophrenia, and this can affect various cognitive domains such as attention, 
memory, uh, executive function, and also processing speed. This cognitive uh, impairment can hinder academic and also occupational performance, social functioning, and also independent uh, living uh, skills can be a big challenge for this kind of uh, patients. Also, we have increased risk for suicide. This, uh, unfortunately, schizophrenic patients are really predisposed to suicide uh, because uh, and they are, it is really, uh, individuals with schizophrenia have an elevated risk uh, of suicide compared to the general population because they have other things like depressive symptoms, social isolation, hopelessness, comorbidity substance abuse, and these items, they are risk for suicide. Suicide uh, prevention uh, strategies, including detection, uh, intervention, and support are crucial for reducing the mortality rates among the individuals with uh, this uh, schizophrenia. Overally, addressing the complications requires uh, a comprehensive and multidisciplinary uh, approach that includes the medication management, psychosocial interventions, support services, and the coordination of care guys. So early detection, intervention, and ongoing, ongoing monitoring for these uh, individuals are essential for minimizing the impact of complications and promoting the recovery and the quality of individuals with uh, this uh, uh, schizophrenia. Guys, schizophrenia is a very serious uh, condition and is a chronic condition. We call it uh, chronic and also severe mental disorder, characterized by uh, disturbances in thinking, perception, emotional behavior, and social interactions. It affects approximately 1% of the population worldwide and it typically emerges in late adolescence or early adulthood. This disorder is associated with a wide range of uh, symptoms, including positive symptoms such as hallucination and delusion, negative symptoms such as flat affect and social withdrawal, and the cognitive uh, symptoms such as impaired memory and uh, attention. The exact cause of uh, schizophrenia is not fully understood, but is, uh, it is uh, based on theories of, of genetic, uh, biological, environmental, and psychological factors uh, are believed to cause its development. And also, abnormal uh, abnormalities in the brain the, uh, structure and function, genetic predisposition, prenatal and perinatal factors, environmental stressors and substance abuse may increase the risk of uh, schizophrenia. On the part of management of schizophrenia, it involves comprehensive and multidisciplinary uh, approach aimed at reducing symptoms, preventing relapse, promoting recovery, and improving quality of life. Treatment includes antipsychotic medications, uh, psychosocial interventions such as therapy and social skill training, and support services such as case management and vocational uh, rehabilitation. Early detection and uh, treatment is an ongoing process. Uh, support to, to support uh, are very critical for optimizing the outcomes and also promoting recovery for individuals affected by schizophrenia. Despite the treatments and also individuals with uh, schizophrenia may experience various complications including social, occupational dysfunction, substance abuse, physical health problems, medication side effects uh, on the extrapyramidal uh, effects, comorbid mental health disorders, cognitive impairment and also increased risk for suicide. So addressing the compl these complications re requires a comprehensive, coordinated approach and also includes med which includes medication and management, uh, psychosocial interventions, support services, and also suicide prevention uh, strategies. Overall, schizophrenia is a very complex and challenging disorder, and it requires ongoing care and support. With appropriate treatment and support, many individuals with schizophrenia can experience significant imp improvement in symptoms and lead to a fulfilling uh, life, lives. However, continued research is needed to better understand the underlying mechanisms of schizophrenia and develop more effective treatments and also interventions. 
I want to, I know the people with schizophrenia will watch this video. I want to appreciate you guys and know we are there to support you. And if you have one in your family, kindly support those patients with schizophrenia. Uh, so that uh, if you have a friend also at workplace, understand this, uh, these people because this condition can be, can really affect them. But uh, all in all, uh, while the exact causes of schizophrenia is not very well understood, we need to support these uh, individuals and also with the support, especially the family support, the doctor, the healthcare provider support and also the individual cooperation, we expect the outcomes to be the best at the end of the day. Guys, welcome. The, the channel is uh, Nazvin. Kindly, if you have not watched our videos, I want to welcome you to our next video. Peace, guys. We love you very much.